What's up guys? Welcome back to today's video. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, you'd know truck's not really, you know, liking the 38s all that much. Um, I'm gonna try to remedy that a little bit today. Basically what it's kind of coming down to is I don't think they're balanced right or they put like balance beads in them and I'm starting to think they didn't put the right weight in there. So yeah. And also one of my valve stems last night I was going to check the uh, tire pressure and one of the valve stems is just pissing out air now and it won't stop so I'm probably gonna have to go and have them replace that and then talk to them about the uh, the whole balancing issue um, so yeah all right so this is how I had to leave it last night so it would okay literally tightened all the way I'm starting to spin that thing now It'll go out, it won't go in any further. Ah, oh, what the fuck, dude. For some reason, I fill it up with air, and it just miraculously decides to hold air now. Like, what the ah. All right, guys, so, I don't really want to bring this truck back to the place because I'm sure they probably did their job right. If they didn't do their job right, then that's fucking on them. Um, I'm talking about the wobble, which I'll show you guys in a second. We're gonna go take it for a drive. Um, what I did is I just aired the tires down. They were at 32 PSI. I aired them down to 27, uh, like you guys saw. So we're gonna go see if that helps a little bit. Um, but pretty much like, up to like 40 miles an hour. When you get to 40, the whole truck just kind of side to side motions and kind of like up and down sometimes too. So yeah, my alignment's pretty good though. Like it goes straight, like it tracks straight and I might just have like, pretty much I've never found an alignment shop that could get this truck right. So I just want to put that out there. Like I've taken it to different shops. No, no, no shop can get this truck right. So. We're just gonna try this tire pressure method and if it doesn't work, we'll try something else. Bias ply tires, all right, they, they have a tendency to flat spot. Um, what the fuck was that? All right, I just passed like, this guy's turning around. No, he's not, Never mind. I, I just passed like a white, um, like Ford Explorer with like lights in the front and he pulled over like right after, spun around and I thought he was turning around, but he's not coming. So it wasn't a cop though, it was some security agency. I don't know what the hell, I don't know. He's not coming after me though. But anyway, they have, the bias plies have a tendency to flat spot, all right? So you kind of need to get them warmed up. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, until the flat spots kind of go away a little bit, we won't really be able to tell if it's any better. Uh, right now it feels, well, we're going, uh, it says 30 on there, but it's actually 40, um, cause I haven't you know, changed my speedometer at all. So, or I haven't like re-geared, nothing like that. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. You guys probably can like not really tell, but at about 35 on my speedometer, which is actually like 45, it starts going like this. Um, I'm just gonna let the tires warm up a little bit more, and then we'll see when I when I'm on my way back if it's if it's a little bit better. Because right now at, at at 40, it's fine. I could I could drive this all day at 40, but the second I go to like 45, it uh it starts doing its whole little wobble thing. Which, these tires, okay, they're, they're, they're only meant, like max speed is 65 on these tires. So, um, it, it, it makes sense, all right? And now we're coming up to a turn. Ugh, if, you, if you air down bias ply tires too much, obviously like 27 pounds isn't gonna be too much. Um, but I have a really big sidewall on these tires because it's a, it's a 38 on a 15 inch rim. So, they can kind of fold under and you can flip your truck. So, 
I just kind of take the take the turns a little easier with these tires on it um, and also this thing a lot taller than it used to be so just driving around right now I, I'm going like 35 and it's it's perfectly fine at 35 um, it was fine last night at 35 too so I wish there weren't so many cops that usually sit around on these roads um, because I then I'd really be able to like test it out but here we're gonna there's usually a cop that sits up here, but I'm gonna get it back up to 45, I think. And we'll see what it, uh, what it, oh, ugh, we're going over some bumps right there. Um, it's actually, so pretty much at, at this point, the tires are kind of warmed up. Uh, we are now going 45. And it's not really all that bad. We're, so like, we're going 35 on my speedometer here. And as you guys can see, it's, it's bumping a little bit. Bumping a little bit, but not really as bad as it was yesterday. I think airing it down did help a little bit. So the thing is too, like all these roads out here, are really bumpy um so it's kind of and they're really curvy too so like i can't really go all that fast anyway uh but i took it out to the highway last night and i got it up to 60 and it was well it was a lot scarier than the truck used to be at 60 but i mean i wasn't like fearing for my life or anything but so we're going like 35 right now and it's perfectly manageable um there's going to be a spot up here it, it is starting to wiggle a little bit it is but we're gonna get it up to a little bit higher speed up here in a second and uh see how that goes all right so this road's pretty straight we're gonna get it up going faster right now we're at 35 we're actually we're at 40 right now and it's not all that bad let's bring it up to 40 45, 46, it's honestly kind of scary. All right, so now here's when it starts to wobble. You guys can probably see, I mean, you might not be able to, but we're going 45 or so right now, and it's wobbling quite a bit, but once we step it back down to 40, it's fine. So, I mean, honestly, it's not something that I can't live with. It's just kind of a, you know, this thing's just not, it's not built for the highway. My, my maximum speed to be comfortable is 40 miles an hour. Um, it can go higher, like I said yesterday. I mean, I got it up to 60. Um, airing it down did help a little bit though, because even at, even at 40 yesterday, it was, it was wobbling to the point where like, it wasn't very fun. So yeah, airing it down did help still didn't fix like the whole issue which i didn't expect it to um it's not it's, it's really not all that bad though it's really not all that bad it's just if people behind me just want to go faster they're gonna have to fucking wait i mean that's that's pretty much what it comes down to at this point because if i want to go 45 on a, in the 35 i'm gonna be wobbling all over the place so yeah so as as you guys can see right here, 30 is basically 37. So, like right now it says 32 and I'm going 23 or so. So, the speedometer is pretty much, you know, quite a bit off. But, so if we get it back up to 30, 38 miles an hour. So, really like, this is perfectly manageable. It really is. Airing it down did help a pretty decent amount. I can at least, you know, like, go the speed limit now, because before I was going 35 and it was all over the fucking place. I could probably air it down a little bit more, maybe to like 25 PSI. Um, it'd probably make it a little bit better, but I'm actually kind of, I'm kind of okay with this. I really actually am. Um, I was thinking the other day, and I'll, by the way, I'm lost. I, I don't know where I am. I'm just kind of, oh wait, no. I think I know where I am now. 
Ah, I do know where I am. Okay, never mind. I thought I was lost. Um, but I actually know where this intersection is. I was thinking about doing a solid axle swap um, on this truck to kind of help with the, you know, wiggles and stuff. Um, now I gotta now I gotta turn left on this road. So, and the speed limit here is 50. So, yeah. Um, I was thinking about doing a solid axle swap to kind of help it out, but I didn't want to have to um, like get new rims because I literally just got these ones. But turns out, shout out to Wyatt, uh, Wyatt up in Canada. There, he told me on Snapchat last night that. Uh, all right, so we're going 50 now. Hold on, we're going 50, and I mean, I could do this. It's it's not it's not crazy bad. Last night at 50, it was freaking horrible. So, but shout out to Wyatt though because he told me that like the Bronco, um, the Bronco straight axles, the Dana 44s that they put in them in like 77, 78 has the same lug pattern and it's kind of a, like a direct bolt up to this truck um and yeah it's a dana 44 you know like it's not a dana 60 but you can build those up to be pretty good so um at some point if a solid axle swap is coming down the road it'll be to a dana 44 out of like a 78 bronco um because yeah, and I've, I've found them online actually you can get like a rebuilt one like chromoly axle shaft stuff like that um for like 2300 bucks or something like that so i mean that's really not a bad route to go but i was thinking about that pretty hard last night but you can see now guys i'm going 47 um and this is manageable it really is like i could actually take this on the highway if i wanted to um i mean i probably won't but I could because the max speed on the highway is 45. So if I'm going freaking 35, you know, like that's not gonna work. But yeah, it's really not all as bad as I thought it was. Not anymore. So I'm actually a lot happier than I was. All right guys, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this video. I know like really a whole lot didn't really go on in this video, but um, I just really wanted to figure out this issue. So if you guys are gonna run these 38 inch Max is creepy crawlers on a 15 inch rim. Um, I guess like the, the the best PSI to run them at is gonna be 27 PSI because they were at 32 before and I didn't say this before but like when I would go 40 my teeth would literally like they'd chatter they'd be like like going like like it was not it was not a fun experience. Um, now at 40 it's 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 pretty manageable. My teeth actually don't hurt after driving it. Um, it's just not a highway vehicle anymore. Um, which, you know, I, I, I knew getting into this, obviously. Like, you put friggin' big ass mud tires, bias plows on your truck. I mean, it's not, it's not really gonna be a highway vehicle. Uh, it doesn't go on the highway anyway, so just in case you guys are new, like, I, this isn't my daily driver. Um, but, yeah, my teeth would literally chatter after driving at 40 miles an hour, so it, it, is, it is quite a bit better. So, I mean, like, if you guys are gonna run these things, 27 PSI is the way to go. Um, yeah, they're also like, they're also brand new tires. So I'm sure like as they get a little bit older, um, they'll kind of like, you know, get into their routine a little bit. Um, cause like, you know, like the top layer of tread is real soft and as you get lower, it gets a little harder. So once this top layer is just kind of a little bit less, uh, that'll probably get rid of a good amount of the, uh, cause you can see, I can just squeeze that. You know what I mean? Down here, I can't, I can't really squeeze it all that much especially like in the center of the lugs like this top layer is 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 real soft so once it gets a little bit lower it'll probably ride better but that's pretty much what's going on here um it's actually drivable which is nice i don't need to bring it to the shop and have them pull the wheel off and be like yo did you put the beads in this thing because i really didn't want to be that guy you know what i mean so i'm pretty i'm pretty content with how it's at now um anyway guys if this is the first video you've seen and you want to consider subscribing um click down below if you want to follow my social media snapchat instagram those are on the screen now and um yeah i guess that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching and uh see you guys in the next one